Happy Easter. Happy Easter, Father. Happy Emmanuel Encounter. Happy Emmanuel Encounter. Today, our World Youth Day theme is from 2013 in Rio, the largest World Youth Day that I have been to, with 3.5 million people at the closing mass. The vestment from World Youth Day in 2013 has the tremendously famous statue of our Lord Jesus Christ with his arms outstretched that is on the mountaintop and truly looks over the city of Rio. This image of our Lord Jesus Christ was then put inside of a heart and that was the logo for that World Youth Day and the fact that all of us are called to have Jesus within us in a particular way, the emphasis be on the fact that Jesus has outstretched arms, that we are called to have Christ within us, but that we are called to go out. We are called to go out and we are called to proclaim. We are called to evangelize. We are called to be witnesses. And that these young people who come to Rio, to the heart of Rio, are then called to go out and stretch out their arms throughout the whole entire world. Our theme today is to go and make disciples of all nations, the same theme that it was uh, in that World Youth Day experience, that we are called to be evangelizers and we are called to share our faith. Pope Francis at World Youth Day in 2013 filled very much so with excitement and joy and encouragement, really was bold in asking the young people to go out, asking the young people to be evangelizers. It's one of my favorite quotes from World Youth Day 2013 when this was said. Let me tell you what I hope is the outcome of this World Youth Day. I hope that there will be a noise. I want you to make yourselves heard in your diocese. I want the noise to go out. I want the church to go out into the streets I want you to, to resist everything that is worldly, everything static, everything comfortable, everything that might make us closed in on ourselves. Dear young people, do not let yourselves be observers of life. Get involved. Jesus did not remain as an observer, but immersed himself. Don't be observers, but be immersed in the reality of life as Jesus did. Hearing these words that we are called to make a mess of this world, that we are called to awaken and to enliven, that we are called to bring forth the gospel message, that we're called to change the world, I truly do believe like set a fire in so many young people's hearts. It reminded me of what my original call was, why I even became a priest. I became a priest very clearly because when I encountered the Lord Jesus and I looked at my peers and recognized how many of them did not know the Lord, there's a burning fire in my heart. I wanted them to know the Lord. And I knew that the Lord had given me this gift, this grace of this intimate relationship with him I could do nothing but feel compelled to share with others. And I want to dedicate my whole entire life in doing so. Our gospel passage today, Jesus says something pretty bold. Thomas asks him, Master, how do we know where you're going and how can we know the way? And Jesus clearly says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So here's a great question. If this is true, sacred scripture, no one comes to the Father except through me, and that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Does everyone know that? Does everyone in your family know that? Do your friends know that? Do your cousins know that? Do your coworkers know that? Do they know that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and that no one comes to the Father except through him? Because if that's true, if that's true in your life, then the only logical conclusion is that we have to tell them. We have to share the good news. And that spending the rest of our lives doing so makes a lot of sense. 
if we want people to know the Father. And that if Jesus is the mediator and the icon and the image of the Father, which he truly is. And that's what's our call? Our call is to get involved. As I was thinking and praying this morning, I mean, at, at the center of Christianity is the incarnation. That Jesus in the flesh enters into our world. Raise your hand if you want to be like Jesus. So if Jesus in the flesh entered into the world, what are we called to do? We're called to be involved. We have to be in. All in. We have to be involved, engaged. We have to be in it. Because if we're not, then we're really not like Jesus. Jesus could have saved the, the world by being totally distant. He could have saved the world by just willing it. He's all powerful. He, he can do whatever he wants. But he chooses to set a pattern and a model of being involved, engaged, getting into it, into the dirtiness and the messiness and the craziness of life, the brokenness, the abuse. He gets involved. And so what are you called to do? What am I called to do? To be involved, to be engaged, to be in it, to be in the street, in our businesses, in our workplaces, in our families, in our schools, in our colleges, and to be Christ in it. And thus, we're called to make the mess that Pope Francis asks of us to do. To make the noise that he asks of us to do. To resist everything worldly, everything static, everything comfortable. And to allow ourselves to not be, absolved, to, to not be observers, but to be involved. Let's pray for the grace today that we may make the Father known by making the mediator, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the second person of the Most Holy Trinity, known and proclaimed and loved and served throughout the world. Through God's grace, may it be so. My simple announcements this morning are for our Emmanuel encounter. So today, on Friday, you are encouraged to pray the Stations of the Cross. There are ample versions online. If you'd like to uh, physically get involved, you can, without a doubt, go for a walk today, pray the Stations of the Cross. There are also outdoor Stations of the Cross in many places if where you're able to pray them. We have an outdoor Stations of the Cross here at the St. John campus. Tomorrow, you are encouraged to go for a hike. It is the tradition of World Youth Day to have a walking pilgrimage on Saturday, and I want to strongly encourage you to do that. Uh, we, uh, myself and Andrew Oleg and Randy Schneider, will be going on a pilgrimage tomorrow. There'll be some more details on that on our social media networks and platforms. Uh, but plan tomorrow to go on a hike. And then, of course, join us this evening at 7.30 p.m. for Father Rafael Campo, Capo and uh, Brenda Noriega and Marcella Walsh.